All right, we're gonna look at this image and try and fix up the double chin in the mom right here. A couple comments though, I always like to make a few comments when I uh, work on an image. Uh, it looks pretty good, it's nicely lit, nicely exposed. Uh, the mom's left hand is hidden and her legs look like they're like she has stumps, kind of. Well, I can kind of see her feet there. So just a little, little commentary on the pose if you wanted to uh, go in that direction just to help you out a bit on that. All right, so when it's chin time, uh, the same strategies that I use, I used to use in the retouching room years ago when I did everything retouched by hand. It's kind of tricky. Chins are kind of tricky, but here's how... Um, I reduce the chin. <clears throat> First thing you want to look at is the fact that there's a shadow right here. See that shadow? That shadow is what's telling you there's a highlight. The difference between shadow and highlight creates form. So partially it's a lighting issue or subtractive lighting. This shadow is probably emphasized by the fact that she's wearing black. Not a big deal. The shape of the chin is rounded, so it's picking up light coming off from this direction here. And uh, so what we want to do, what I'm getting at, is you could obviously affect it by using flat lighting, but you don't want to do that. Uh, you could try pulling your chin out while you're photographing it, but people often have a hard time holding that chin out position. Now, I often try having say in this situation I would ask the mom to lean in lean forward pull your chin up a tiny bit and pull it out like as if there's a rope stuck at the end of her chin and I'm pulling the chin out very gently like a turkey neck very gently if so they often will overdo that and it doesn't look right so I'll get them to do it over again so that's partially uh, solving the problem in the posing but we're looking at the shadow so what we want to do first step is we want to reduce the shadow before we do anything else. So we go with the clone stamp and we go to lighten and a nice low opacity and we start lightening the shadow because it's the shadow that's creating the form, the shape. We want to de-emphasize the shadow. I'm going to go to smaller brush. I'm going to go above that line. Sometimes this is all you need to do with some people, and it looks good. I think she's going to require a couple of steps, though. So what we've done is we've taken out the shadow. You see that? We've reduced it substantially. From that to that. Let me zoom in and show you. From that to that. Okay, let's work on it a little more. You know, I could finesse this and lighten it a bit more, um, but I think we're almost there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the opposite. See this highlight? I'm going to fill that in. I'm going to darken. Now instead of lightening, I'm going to darken a highlight. So before we lighten the shadow, now we're darkening a highlight. See that little spot right there? We've, we've made it consistent. We've made it uniform. See, I can also go right in here, right here, this area right here, this line here. I could technically lighten that. I could lighten this line and this line and really smooth things out quite a bit. But my guess is a little bit of reality is not going to hurt. Now, if she requested requested total removal, that's fine. You, you have the flexibility to do as much or as, as little as you wish. So we're going to darken a little bit in that lighter area. And that's going to, again, just smooth things out. Now, I always like to finish it by going on to normal. And there are a couple of spots, so just, just a couple little areas, like right here. A couple little blurbs and spots. She's got a little neck thing there. And that's it. That's pretty much it. And of course you adjust it to taste. And, uh, you know, I could go in and I could actually darken this area a little bit more. Or I could lighten it, lighten that shadowed area. 
and then darken the highlight. There's a little tiny line right here, see? There's a little tiny highlight line. I can go in there and darken that. And I probably would use a much smaller brush. And uh, when you do this, you get very good at it after you've done a few chins. It just takes, it takes no time at all. And the last thing I like to do, just to kind of close that off, let's assume I'm happy with that. As a matter of fact, let's have a closer look. I'm going to show you uh, before and after. Okay? And I took my time, by the way, in doing that. I wanted to show you guys. So the last step I usually do is I go to the Burn tool on Highlights, low exposure, say 15, smaller brush. And I'm going to just gently, just a touch of darkening, just to give the chin a little strength, a little bit of contouring. And now if we run this soft focus and all the rest of the retouching that we're going to do on this image, uh, you know, all in all, when you look at the final end result, after you've finished everything, I think the chin's going to look great. So, yeah, so that's it. That's all i got to say on that. And that's how I pretty much reduce uh, double chins. If somebody is very, very large, and uh, it's just simple. It's just going to take you more work, that's all. So, we're going from that to that. Hope you enjoyed that.